A question that I get asked often is, how can I mark MI assessments if one project is a clay figure and the other is an essay? How can that be fair? The short answer is that it can be. Assessment for learning is the key to this process. MI lessons are designed to be diagnostic and formative assessment tools. In other words, if a student expresses their understanding of characterization through acclamation, while another student uses a naturalist symbol, they've both demonstrated their understanding of characterization. Assessment for learning asks teachers, students, administrators, and parents to look at the process of learning as much as the product. Formative assessment incorporates day-to-day -day evaluations such as work samples, visual records, checklists, graphs and charts, and student journals. Summative assessment is commonly associated with tests and is usually condemned by MI advocates. However, there is no rule that says summative assessment is paper bound. There are many summative assessment tools that you can use for multiple intelligences, such as peer evaluation, self-evaluations, projects and presentations, quizzes and tests, and exhibits or museum nights. Overall, students' report cards shouldn't simply be based on test results and presentation. In order to ensure that each student is represented equally, whether they are kinesthetic or linguistic, report cards should have a balance of a variety of different assessment tools. The most common summative assessment tool that I use are rubrics. Rubrics are designed to clearly outline the expectations of a project, assignment, or a graphic organizer. Specific levels of accomplishment, usually a 1 to 4 scale, are assigned to each standard, as well, though not always, as points or marks for each section. Students are able to use assessment rubrics to help them understand the specific requirement of assignments before handing them in. Rubrics are also objective for marking and provide timely feedback. The 1 to 4 scale helps students to focus on key areas of strength, as well as areas that need improvement. This is especially important for quizzes, so that students look at key areas rather than the overarching mark. For a detailed breakdown of multiple intelligence assessment tools, check out my book, Multiple Intelligences in the Everyday Classroom.